Center View Data Funnels link your data to the tables and Corda images that display the data within your dashboard. Center View can connect to practically any data source, including a database, spreadsheet, text file, HTML table on a web page, Business Objects Universe, or Salesforce.com. A helpful wizard guides you through the process of connecting to your data. Let's begin with the example of getting data from a spreadsheet. Create a data funnel by clicking on the data funnel button on the toolbar. Give your data funnel a name. Since we want to use the wizard to create this data funnel, we can click Next. Spreadsheets are a common source for dashboard data. Spreadsheet data funnels let you link spreadsheet data into your dashboard. Spreadsheet data may come from a text file such as a CSV file or from an Excel spreadsheet. For this example, select In a Spreadsheet and then click Next. Next, click the Browse button and locate the spreadsheet that contains your data. Now you can see a preview of your data. If your spreadsheet has multiple worksheets or tabs, make sure that you select the correct worksheet. In this case, the Metals worksheet that we want is the first one, so we simply click Next. You are shown a final view of your data. Click Finish to create the data funnel. As you review the data funnel's output in the workspace of Centerview Builder, you may notice that the heading 2004 Olympics Medal Count on the first row doesn't really belong with the data. Data from spreadsheets will often contain values that are not part of the data set you wish to graph. Fortunately, Centerview provides a rich set of tools for filtering, formatting, and manipulating your data. In this case, all we need to do is remove the first row from the data. We can do this by using a filter. With the data funnel object selected in the object browser, select the filter object in the object palette. Notice that a filter object has been inserted below the data funnel in the object browser. Next, we specify the settings for the filter in its object properties. Since we want to disable a row, click in the field to the right of the Disable property. We want to disable row 1, which happens to be one of the sample attribute values listed in the Help panel. So we can simply click on Rows colon 1 in the Help box, and that value will be automatically inserted for the Disable property. Press Enter, and you can see that the heading row has been removed from the data. For this example, we will be graphing the number of gold medals, so we don't need the columns for silver and bronze. We are currently viewing the filter object in the data funnel, so let's click on the up arrow in the object palette to select its parent object, which is the data funnel object. Now we can insert another filter object and set its disable property to be columns colon 3-4. Press enter and you can see that the last two columns disappear. The completed data funnel consists of the file object which retrieves the data from the spreadsheet, a filter object which removes the first row, and another filter object which removes the last two columns. Center View Builder lets you see the result of each element of the data funnel. Click on the file object. Note that the data preview shows all the cells from the spreadsheet. Now click on the first filter object. See how the first row disappears because the disable property specifies row 1. Now click on the second filter object. See how the third and fourth columns disappear because the disable property specifies columns 3 through 4. You can now easily connect your data funnel to a graph. Replace the graph's data funnel with your new data funnel. See how your data comes to life. Center view can easily connect to spreadsheets so that you can begin visualizing your data in a matter of minutes.